Good morning. Today is Friday, March 27th, 2020, and we are learning about division. So in yesterday's lesson, we were dividing to find out how many are in each group. Today, we're going to do some dividing to find out how many groups we can have. So the first problem, if you open to your textbook, to lesson five, it looks like this. We're gonna go ahead and start reading. It says there are 12 leeches. Here are my leeches. If three leeches are put in each bowl, how many bowls are needed? So here is my first bowl. I'm going to put three leeches. One, two, three but there are still more leeches left. So here's my second bowl. Again, I'm going to put three leeches, but there are still more left. So here's my third bowl, and I'm going to put another three leeches inside. And yet there are still more leeches. And here is my last bowl. I'm going to put three inside of that one too. Now there are no more leeches. So we knew there were 12 leeches. We started with the number 12. We divided them by the number we wanted in each group, which is this three. And our answer tells us how many groups of three there are. There is one, two, three, four groups of three. So our answer is four. 12 divided by three equals four. So all the way down here in your book, it says hmm, bowls are needed. We're going to write down that there are four bowls are needed. So again, 12 is the total number of leeches. Three is the number in each group. And four is the number of groups. Let's go ahead and turn to the next page. Okay, number one, it says, Alex divides 12 buttons into groups of four. How many groups are there? So here we have 12 buttons, and they are each in groups of four. There's four here, four here, and four here. So 12, again, we start with the total, 12 buttons, divided by groups of four equals how many groups? One, two, three. There are three groups of buttons. Number two, Sophia divides 15 tortilla chips into groups of five. How many groups are there? So here we have groups of five. In total, we have 15. So we start with our 15 as our total, divided by the number in each group, which is five. We can figure out how many groups there are. Group one, group two, group three. There are three groups. Number three, each vine has three cranberries. There are 21 cranberries. How many vines are there? So we know there are 21 cranberries. That's the total. So we start with the total. We want each vine to have three cranber cranberries. So here's the first vine. I'll circle it. The first vine has three cranberries. We're trying to find out how many groups of vines are there. How many vines are there? So we're going to divide 21 into groups of three to find out how many groups. I'm gonna continue dividing them into three. Now let's find out how many groups there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven vines. There are seven vines. Number four, there are 25 crayons. Here are my 25 crayons. It says put five crayons in each box. How many boxes of five crayons are there? 
So if we didn't have all of these um, counters to represent our crayons and we just wanted to count in our heads, we can say each box has five crayons and keep counting by fives until we get to the number of groups. So two boxes would be 10 crayons, three boxes would be 15 crayons, four boxes would be 20 crayons, five boxes would be 25 crayons. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25. That's five boxes with five crayons each. But since we do have our counters, we can put the five crayons and check visually. Here is one, two, three, four, five. This is one box. One, two, three, four, five. Here is my second box. One, two, three, four, five. There's my third box of crayons. One, two, three, four, five. Here's my fourth box. And here is my fifth box. There is one, two, three, four, five groups. So when we're writing our division equation, we're always starting with the total. There are 25 crayons. We're going to divide this number by the number in each group, which is five. There's five in each group. And the answer is going to represent how many groups of crayons of boxes there are, which is the number five. There are five boxes. Number five. Dion has 24 craft sticks. He uses four sticks for each frame. How many frames does he make? So let's look at what we know. We know Dion has 24 craft sticks, and what do we always start with? Our total, and our total is 24 craft sticks. So I'm gonna put 24 here. I'm going to divide it by the number of craft sticks he uses for each frame. He uses four sticks for each frame. And when I divide 24 into four, I'm going to find out how many frames does he make. So if he were to draw, I'm sorry, if he were to use four sticks for each frame, that's the first frame. Four more is eight, eight sticks he used. Remember, we're gonna keep using the sticks until we get to 24. 12 sticks, 16 sticks, 20 sticks, 24 sticks three, four, five, six picture frames. Did you notice how we counted and divided it? We counted by fours until we came to the number 24. Four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24. We stopped on 24 because we're done using all the craft sticks. And we saw that he was able to make six frames. He makes six frames. 24 divided by four is six. All right, and now we're ready to do our very last word problem of the day. You guys are doing a great job. Let's read this one, number six. A pet shop owner wants to put five hamsters in each cage. There are 20 hamsters. How many cages does she need? So what number are we going to start with? The total, you are correct, 20 hamsters. This is our total, there are 20 hamsters all together. We're going to divide 20 hamsters by five hamsters in each group because she wants to put five hamsters in each cage. So here's a cage, she wants to put five hamsters all the way until 20. Here's another cage, she puts another uh, five hamsters. Five, 10, we use 10 hamsters but there are still more to share. Here's another cage with five inside. Five, 10, 15, we still have more to share. We're not at 20 yet. Here's another cage with five more. 5, 10, 15, 20, we finally reached 20. We don't have any more hamsters to share. So how many cages would we need? We would need four cages. She needs four cages to put 20 hamsters. Great job, you guys. I'm so proud of you. Let's go ahead and close your textbooks and take out your workbook. Go ahead and open to your workbook. Exercise number five, it's on page 139. And there are, I think about nine, yep, there are eight word problems for you to solve. And they have pictures on most of them, or all of them. Wow, how cool is that? So you can solve your word problems just like we did together today on the board with our textbook. 
Read each word problem, write down what you know, always start with a total, divide it by the information that you have to find what the question is asking you. As always, if you need any help, please ask an adult. See you tomorrow. Bye.